wondered why do we use log mean temperature difference in heat exchanger this question was asked to me in many times in the interview do you know why now let's look further now why do we use log mean temperature difference in heat exchanger as you know uh, the heat equation says q is equal to ua uh, delta tm that is the log mean temperature difference uh, now as we see that this is an heat exchanger where hot and cold fluid exchange their heat now according to this particular temperature profile uh, we find that at every different point of exchange there is a different temperature difference as you see in this particular figure the temperature difference at this point is a uh, larger it is getting slower uh, lesser and lesser and here it is extremely less be it counter flow or uh, cross flow the temperature different at each and every point keeps on changing now what happens if we use arithmetic mean if we use arithmetic mean the total uh, temperature difference that we get over here is mm, approximate to uh, over here as t1 uh, th by t2 will indicate over here and tc1 by t2 uh, will be indicated by t uh, tc mean and th mean so this particular difference will be used when we take care of arithmetic mean but this will give us erroneous result so as we know that the particular uh, temperature is keep on changing at every point in heat exchanger but the heat transfer rate is constant this is best approximated by log mean temperature difference now let's look dive deeper and look at its equations now talking about the equation we know that q is equal to mc delta t that is the uh, sensible heat now when as we know that at each point the q remains constant that is there is a steady heat transfer so based on that within the hot fluid we can write upon this equation and in cold fluid we can write mc delta c now uh, uh, you know as heat uh, flow is constant and delta th and delta tc we write the equation in this particular form now taking the difference between both we find this particular equation that the difference between hot and cold fluid at any different uh, any point in heat exchanger is equal to the heat that is transferred upon uh, the reciprocals of their uh, mh ch and heat capacities so this is our first equation now going into further uh, derivation we know that the particular heat transfer at every point can be as based on the convection is uh, overall heat transfer into the temperature difference between the two points so based on uh, this particular equation at very single point you find the delta q is equal to u th minus tc into delta i whatever there is the heat of uh, the heat transfer now uh, equating dq uh, substituting the dq uh, in this particular equation we find that the temperature difference is equal into u uh, the uh, the overall temperature difference into da 1 by mh uh, ch plus mc ch now integrating on both the sides you know at the two ends what we have found uh, we get this particular equation that is the log term comes into the play so once we find uh, this particular equation uh, uh, which is the log of the temperature difference between the two ends is equal to ua 1 plus mh ch plus 1 plus mc cc so these are both the heat capacity now uh, as we know uh, the overall uh, mh ch is equal to uh, according to the previous equation the temperature difference between the two ends so uh, replacing this both into this equation over here you find that it gives into um, uh, equating that you get q is equal to ua th minus tc2 minus th minus tc2 upon ln so this is what we call as log mean temperature difference so based on the derivation you can find as q is equal to ua delta tm so now you understood as the temperature difference is uh, changing at each point in heat exchanger the best approximation can be done through log mean temperature difference and this particular derivation also proves the same thing uh, now what happens uh, when 
you have got a constant temperature difference at all the points for example here the fluid is uh, cooled from 100 to 80 degree whereas the cold fluid is being heated from 60 to 80 degree and at each and every point uh, you are having the temperature difference of 20 degrees so can you use log mean temperature difference uh, and uh, how to approximate so uh, please let me know in the comments before thank you and this question has been asked many times in gate so uh, please find this answer. Thank you.